they're starting on. Oh god, they're starting on Lilat. Uh, yeah, cause it's a good stage. It is. Oh god, so so good, right? I'm not sarcastic. Uh, you, okay, Connor, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this. If Lilat's so bad, why didn't I know the bayonet? Interesting. Moving on. I don't know we what top players <laughs> think. I'm bad. I know. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> It's actually because of the matchup specific. specific yeah, I I still have. It's not terrible, but I think I think the real thing is all of our stages are actually terrible. They are, yeah. But Lilat is the most tangibly terrible, so it gets all the hate. But I no, think... that's exactly true. Yeah. Have you ever seen people? I I met Sheik uh, down throw me on Battlefield, and then it just automatically killed me. Whoop! Because Battlefield legends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know what you're talking about. But anyway, right now I'm trying to focus on Vermillion and being able to keep the state control against Solomar. Loser of this gets fifth, and Solomar gonna eat that first cross slash. And I know Vermillion lately has been doing pretty well right against Solomar in the grand scheme of things. Um, being able to take, I think, one or two wins on it uh, last season. Last season? Were, they, were those both at Foundry? I, I don't remember uh, Vermillion ever beating Solomar at Foundry. Yeah, he did. He, oh, one of them was at Foundry at least. Okay. Yeah. I think it was it might have been just one, but... Ooh, he's up there, so hard to whistle to because of the hitbox, you know. Because they essentially read the exact moment it's gonna connect. And, oh my god. I just grabbed a purple up smash, kind of evening up the percentages. Ooh, that was such a good short hop by Vermillion, right? Just right over the, uh, the blue Pikmin. Landing his own back here and getting this huge advantage stage strength from it. Oh, does not read the side that Solnar lands on. Solnar now gets himself a full lineup. That's actually gets a purple. Now that this is where things start getting huge. Yeah. This is. I mean that. That one limits. Like the Ooh. game was over. Oh my god. He doesn't go for the down air. Well, he. Uh, I think it's uh, tricky where the hitbox of Cloud is. I don't know actually. That's a good question. I think. Oh, he was going for a down smash. He was trying to two frame instead. Uh, yeah. Oh no! That's just the way, and that's a dead Olimar right there. I mean, that's, that's... when you have uh, like a half shield. Oh, okay. See you around, Connor. Good, good commentating uh, with you. Good commentating I enjoyed that game. You. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, when you're at basically half a shield against Cloud. When Cloud limit cross slashes, it's either going to poke and kill you, or it's going to break your shield and then kill you. So it essentially always wins against a half-eaten shield. Very scary situation to be. And Peabody, welcome on the mic. Yeah, what's up? What's up, what's up? I just saw the game, and I saw that uh, Vermilion down aired. Yeah. And then uh, Solomar's... Uh, Oh shoot, I can't wear the mic. Uh, Solomar's uh, back air is playing Vermillion. It's pretty weird. Ver uh, Solomar back air did what? And uh, Vermillion's down air, like, he was invincible from the back air. Uh, yeah, it's because all of the Pikmin attacks that Olimar has uh, have a low priority function where they will always lose trades with air moves. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, which makes it so that a very air superior characters like Cloud, like Mario, like Fox, or, or like Sheik, are all very painful for Olimar to deal with, and right now... Wow, the cross slash. But staying alive, even though he's at over 100%. I thought it was gonna kill since Olimar's pretty light. Yeah, same. I was I was impressed yeah. he was able to stick it together. Oh, throw gonna do it? Oh, man. You know what percent? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say what, what percent. What percent up throw kills yeah. Olimar at? Uh, I would have guessed probably around like 140, 150, honestly. Uh, you go with no rage? Actually, with no rage, no, 160 or yeah. 70, yeah. Right now, we're really just trying to extend this lead, get as much extra credit as we can. Yeah. I'm able to land, yeah, with, with impunity with that downer, not much oh, nice. Solnar can do to- <gasps> Oh! He, oh, he risked it all, yeah. I do like the thought of Solnar as well, venturing out there, trying to get that spike on that whiff uh, cross slash. But I don't think Vermillion should have SD, because he, like, he only had like 70%. He had so much to live for, yeah. yeah. But he wanted like to end it right now. He wanted the momentum. Yeah. Especially being able to take a second game with a huge play like that. Yeah. It really can get into your opponent's head. 
Now we're moving us off stage. Okay, he's back. With limit. It's pretty scary. Oof. Yep. And here we go. That is definitely Solomars. Second game already done in a little under two oh, minutes. Good. Vermillion up 2 0 against Solomar. Oh. Wow, it's pretty fast matches. It's a really hard yeah. matchup for yeah. for Cloud, and I, I don't mean that in a Johnny way. I, I mean for for Olimar, I don't mean that in a Johnny way, but it's just it's too so hard. I can tell. It's the yeah, it's a huge sword, is, and it's able to beat all your moves out in priority. Uh, you essentially have to be ready and like guessing what he's going to do a few steps ahead of the game, so you can power yeah, shield you or have whistle. To do more. Through. Yeah. Which, which sucks, but it's part of the game. Yeah. It's, it's the path of the Olimar main. Yeah. Now, right now, Solomar trying to keep his distance this time against Vermillion. Nice little down tilt. He gets poked through, but not. Oh, wow. Oof, almost gets the double lift. You think that would have killed if he actually got it? If he got the spike, um. Let me see. Solomar had a purple. He still would have reached the ledge, I think. Oh. Uh, but. He could just throw him, right? Or higher? Uh, yeah, you can throw him, but the thing is, you wouldn't have time to throw without falling off the bottom of the blast zone, I think. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, Vermillion would have had the situation wow. to edge guard, but that doesn't even matter, because that <laughs> stock is gone anyway. <laughs> we don't even have time to talk about past interactions. Vermillion is just mowing through these stocks right now. Oh, there we go. That's the super armor we're looking for with the whistle. Oh, that has super armor? It has super armor for just, like, one or two frames. Like, starting on frame six, I want to say. So you have to time it? Yeah. Uh, but it's usually Olmar's best shot at making it back to the ground because all of his air moves are going to lose every single trade. That was a purple, right? Yeah. Okay. Purple up airs are terrifying. Purples are just terrifying. Dude, I kill you so early. <laughs> you know what? The box can die like at 60. Oh, yes. Uh, especially with like a purple up smash. See how high he went up? Yeah. He got hit at like 40%, at 39%, and he went that high. So that purple Pikmin has so much knockback. Yeah. Vermillion with limit again, which is pretty scary. Oh, two purples and a blue on deck. This is a really nice lineup for Mario uh, Olimar to have to close out a stock. Oh, he took out the blues, that means he has to get it back. He's next up, he's gonna get a white when he plugs again, I believe. Oh, oh no, oh, it's a red. He was uh, purple was the last one he plugged. Oh, yeah. oh that was a purple. It was a uh, red. Oh, the, oh yeah, that's smart. <laughs> the Pikmin are also eating one of the uh, blade beams. <laughs> Smashes one of the Pikmin on him, he extends his uh, Yeah, it extends uh, Pikmin extend hitboxes. Wow. Because it's just like you're hitting anything else, like a tree or a player. Ooh, oh. tries to react just a moment too slow. I thought he was gonna do the upbeat. You know, that would have, yeah, that would have come out faster than yeah. cross slash, right? So, yeah. would have been ideal. Solmar in a position, oh, yeah, and he, he gets the up throw, yeah. and Solmar stays alive. <laughs> He's on the brink of death. Oh my god. I mean, if I was if I was Solomar throughout that whole game, I would have been clenching. Just like, I don't want to lose here. I just drove two and a half hours to get to this tournament. I'm not leaving at fifth place. <laughs> That's crazy. Survival. But of uh, course... Loser gets what? Place? Uh, loser, this gets fifth. Fifth? Oh. Yeah, this is loser's quarters. Winner moves on to fight... Uh, right, DSS, yeah. Oof, Solomar putting... He's on the board now. And going back to Lilat actually accepting it, because I know Vermillion won here yeah. uh, the last time they fought. Oh, I know, they went to Smashville, so DSR can no longer protect him from Lilat. Oh, yeah. I kind of hate the DSR, but it's okay. I, I kind of hate the stage list yeah. rules in this right now. I, I, I was just talking to, to G Shark earlier that, like, every time you see players end up on Smashville, uh, on Lilat, like, as annoying as Lilat is, we need to ask what it is about our stage rules that allow people to be brought to Lilat so often, you know? This, this, jank, this stage is, like, too janky. Have you seen all those pails and, like, people falling? <laughs> oh, have I seen them? <laughs> <laughs> I've lived some of them. Oh, no. I, I, I feel like, yeah, I think a lot of the stages. Oh, wow. Have issues, but this right one has the most. Yeah. Right now, though, Solmar keeping it, not even oh. quite even. Wow, that almost broke his shield. Did he get his shield broken? Uh, game one. Yeah, it was game one. He got his shield broken by a cross slash. That time, his shield had a little bit more health on it. Able to survive just with a dime. Yep. And right now, 
Uh, Solmar, knowing that he can't punish the falling up air, right? He rolls through and sees the whip grab and immediately gets oh, a F smash weird. punish and gets a true frame with the uh, Pikmin down smash. I think that was yellow. Yeah, that was yellow. How much percent does the uh, white Pikmin uh, do? Each tick does about 5%. It, it stacks up really fast. If you have a white on you, you need to kill that ASAP. Like, any, the, the odds of you, like, even if you get in on Olimar while there's yeah. a white on you, you're probably not going to outrace the damage it does to you. At first, it doesn't seem like a lot, but then, like, over time, it's just like, how do you get all this percent? Like, I, I have seen um, the people who don't shake off a white Pikmin, yeah. it will do about 30% to them before it falls off by itself. That's, oh my God. that's essentially you got hit by a smash attack at range, yeah. right? Like, you have to deal with it. But two smashes, actually. Look at these uppers. Oof! Oh, three yeah. reps, just back to back. Nice, well, keep moving off stage. It's, it's hard for Oliver to get back. Aw, oh, he was aiming for the back, but he still gets it. Yep. There he's we not go. Like, he's not letting him go back on stage. Look at this. Total stage control. Oh, and wow. just reads the roll get up, just calmly was, walks back. That was really cool. That, that was that was a very nice punish right there. That's the zero punish we were looking for for game three yeah. on that roll get up. I and thought I'll, he was gonna do the 